Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Game Trip. Let's get started up here. Seven wins, that's a Zazel. Seven wins in a row, nothing to sneeze at. Nothing to sneeze under. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this with Harlequin Baby and Telepathy for Dummies. LF8B3PYR, my favorite Star Wars droid. You guys don't know 3PYR? Human Cyborg Intercourse? He's cheap joke. Cheap joke. Either way. Um, it's a scary position to be starting in here. We basically need to get an HP upgrade or a Tinted Rock probably before the next floor, but... We'll see. We can maybe finagle our shop uh, into a... I think we're better off with Telepathy for Dummies for now. We can maybe finagle our shop into a... Uh, into a spirit heart. I mean, you can probably do the math for yourself on this, but I'm like, you know, use a key, go into the shop, put Wheel of Fortune down next to the donation machine, blow up the donation machine, Wheel of Fortune, and uh, the shopkeeper, and we should be able to get to five cents, and then there just has to be a spirit heart for sale. Then we have to not, oh my god, it's an XL floor too. Oof. Then we have to not lose the spirit heart, so we're in a very, very wild position right now. That Cursed Room could also help us as well. And this is one of those, you know, semi-frustrating, but also, you know, endearing moments where we're like, there's no right answer. Or there is a right answer, but there's no way for us to know it. One of these strategies is going to give us the best chance of getting a Spirit Heart. We can't know what it is just yet. Well, I almost had a small heart attack in the moment there. Perthro? Burkano. Burkano's also good. Keeps us alive. Um... Kills some enemies easily. But, uh, yeah, that, that was a very scary moment there. Definitely 100% go to the shop. I think that's indisputable. Another bomb is actually pretty good. There is a Spirit Heart for sale. There's also Chaos. So, we've got several bombs now. First bomb... I mean, I kind of want to get Chaos. But we should probably wait on Chaos until after... Like, I want 12 cents. We're going to be at 9. Come on, take me to 12 cents. Take me to 12 cents. Beautiful. I think we want to get the Spirit Heart and then fight the bosses. Because, you know, the, the boss items can be good, but the big thing here is we want to get a good deal with the Devil, if possible, before we take Chaos. And I will take Chaos, and I think it's not even for zaniness. That's just a nice byproduct. It's just because it, it ends up typically making our runs that much stronger. However, um, we want to get that deal with the Devil first and then take Chaos so that we're not diluting our deal with the Devil pool unnecessarily. So we're going to take Ball of Bandages. So far, so good. This is, a, this is a seed that... Oh, be careful. This is a seed that if you're like an Isaac intermediate or like, you know, pseudo-advanced level player, and I am going to call myself an advanced level player at this point, okay? Not the best in the world, but is Mike Weir not an advanced golfer? Even if he's no, you know, Tiger Woods in his prime? I think you got to give him some respect regardless. Uh, this is a seed that I would recommend trying out. <laughs> would you? Would you have done it? Because I'm going to do it. Am I skeptical of my chances as a result of this? Oh, that's exactly what I was looking for! I am the one and only man who's lucky as heck. Come on, held up. No bad trips. Ooh, 48 hour energy, that's completely worthless. We're gonna head down to the next floor. I think we did it all for the Nookie, for one, but did it all with testicles, but also did it all um, the proper fashion here. Shouldn't have taken damage on the, uh, on the little horn fight, but otherwise, pretty pleased with the way that this went down. So we got Chaos. We've got a very slight amount of uh, HP buffering us, just in case things go terribly wrong. Um, and Rotten Baby is actually a huge help. Now, of course, it's also nice to get, uh, Dark Matter, but we couldn't have afforded it, and, uh, a little scary. Health up. Beautiful. I think we've started to pull this one back. So, not in every situation is that gonna work out. Uh, we probably got... I'd say we were in the... We would have been not unlucky if things didn't work out this well for us. That would have been normal. Uh, but we did, uh... Maybe not shoot the moon, you know, it was like a 1 in 50 chance that we got the kind of luck that we did. No, but um, certainly better than 50% uh, chance, I think, that we wouldn't have had that happen. Or wouldn't have had that at least high level of quality happen. Um, now we've got HP. 
we got good damage. We've got Rotten Baby. We got Deal with the Devil Precedent. And we got Chaos. So I think that we're uh, positioned pretty amazingly for the future. The fact that our damage is so good makes Rotten Baby quite nice as well. Every fly is probably going to take off, you know, half of this bat's HP. Half of a bat's HP. We still got hit by a bat that got hit by the Rotten Baby first. It's like, why can't you take out 100% of the bat HP? That would have helped me out way more than just taking out half of it, you, you jerk. You're a freaking jerk. That's what you are. But once we get, and hopefully we will get, a uh, an active item here that can replace Telepathy for Dummies, we should be in a really, really good spot. Because, I mean, Telepathy for Dummies is fine, but... The homing tiers aren't even that good when they're inconsistent. And Whipworm may actually make it work. I... Okay, I think we got lucky that the mushroom at least exploded into a, uh... Into some poison. Alright. That's... Oh, that was really bad. But that was like our safe zone. Where we could hit him without being uh, worried about us getting hit ourselves. And we came out of this with uh, the virus. I'm playing pretty fast and loose here, and I'll admit, I'll be the first to admit, that this is not the right strategy for us moving forwards. We should be a little bit more diligent, but I'm pretty jazzed about the way that we've started out here. Didn't always look like it was going to be okay. And it may still not be completely okay, but we're starting to get there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's, again, nothing for survival, but much, much better as far as... Uh, Damage is concerned, and I'm hoping that works with Rotten Baby as well. Can't say for certain. But let's come back here. And head down to the next floor. Maybe going a little bit too fast. By the way, asking for spirit hearts out of two spirit hearts, or asking for spirit hearts out of two fires on the same run. A little, bit, a little bit of an unreasonable ask, but still. Pentagram, greater deal with the devil chance. Book of Belial, greater deal with the devil chance. We're in a good spot. In order to uh, hopefully trade away our very limited amounts of HP to pick up uh, hopefully even more HP, honestly. The commentary's a little hyperactive today. I've been drinking this cold brew coffee. So the thing with the cold brew coffee, it's ready to go instantly. That's awesome. I, I'm hesitant to avoid, or I, I'm, I should say I'm just hesitant to be seen as, you know, a, a cheap joke for caffeine. I think a lot of people, they're like, I had too much coffee today, and then they just emphasize it. I actually feel like pretty much on the level right now. But the thing with cold brew is you have cold brew concentrate you make in advance, and then you dilute it with water. So unless you're, you know, well-versed in the stoichiometry of it, it's pretty easy to accidentally make yourself a cup of coffee that's two to three times stronger than you intended it to be. Um, and that may be the situation that's happened here. My resting heart rate is in the quadruple digits. More than 10 beats per second. Obviously, I'm being facetious here. If you have a resting heart rate in the quadruple digits, uh, I'm not even going to go, say, see a doctor. I would just say, proceed straight to the morgue. Save everybody the time. Don't call an ambulance. There's, it's not worth wasting the gas, honestly. You're done. That's faster than recorded history. Oh, dude, the virus actually came through in the clutch for us here. Lovely. Okay, so bombs are important. I'd really like a small rock. Probably spirit hearts are a little bit more essential right now, but uh, I'm, I'm not worried about our HP for deal with the devil purposes because we're already in such a position that I feel like the only deals with the devil I'm going to be really excited for are like nine lives Abaddon, Pact, Mark, you know, things that give us an advantage but also give us HP as well. So um, I feel like for now, as long as I'm not worried about death, which I'm not really. Um, we should be okay for this deal with the devil. I imagine we're going to get one here. Unless it contains an item that also helps to keep me alive. I don't see myself uh, going for it. But keep in mind, we got chaos. So we could get that item from, you know, directly proceeding. We got an HP upgrade and then we get Krampus. Pretty standard, you know, for having chaos. This is a little bit of a, a normal sort of deal with the devil situation. I would love Lump of Coal. And I probably would take Krampus's head, honestly. I've been using the item a little bit more frequently. And Book of Belial, I don't think, is as useful as it used to be. So I, I wouldn't feel bad about that. Um, but Lump of Coal is the better choice here, especially with Whipworm. That's going to be nice. And we're just trying to leverage our existing advantages. So, you know, we... Uh, Tried to find the second secret room. We got an item room and a shop available for us on this floor. I probably would try to take advantage of the shop. Uh, even if our money is not necessarily 
there on the way in. Two bombs could do it. We only need four cents per play, which is somewhat unlikely, but we've also got several rooms to go before we even get there, so... Might be totally fine. More bombs, also very helpful. Now, neither of these can be uh, our secret room. Wow, I really 100% thought that the, the cube of meat would have crushed it, but that's okay. Um, none of these can be our secret room, which is hugely advantageous for us to know. Because now we can very easily, uh, at least in theory, try to divine where our secret room is. It's probably not going to be directly above us. Oh, it can't be directly above us here. Um, and they, we're basically running out of secret room locations, which is a great thing. Can't be in this room either. That means, unfortunately, it's not going to border the curse room, so we, we'll take damage one way or the other on the way there. Um, it, it could... No, it can't be there. Don't think we really get an advantage there. It feels like it's going to be on the left here. It feels like it's on the, the, the left. The, the, the left. You know, feels it feels like making love. I actually have no idea where it is. I think I'd prefer Spirit Hearts at the moment. And uh, Bomb and a Spirit Heart is a pretty good trade. Infamy is a pretty good get as well. Now we need 7 cents. That's a 3 and a 4. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre are at the door. Where are Red Hearts available? Ooh, and Restock Chaos is very, very good. We got a Spirit Heart out of that guy as well. So I think you buy Restock... Devil, we got a key. I think you blow this up. Two cents left. I think you take your spirit heart. Um, because we got restock, money is pretty valuable for us. And I'm going to play a little bit fast. That's probably our, H or our secret room right there. I'm going to play a little fast and loose with our HP and just come into this curse room. I'm not glad I did. But it didn't cost us too much in the end, I suppose, because we did get power pill in here. Um... Now we're actually really incentivized to go down to the Hush fight, if possible. Uh, and, and maybe buy some new stuff down there when we have more money. But for now, I think I'm just content saying this situation is pretty good. We can literally at this point, and I, I do believe I mean literally, buy every item. If we get two Steam sales, I think you can just get every item in the game for free. Or like a blank Cardiera situation. I, I think every item in the game is now available in the shop pool. Which is a really nice uh, synergy that, you know, these are the kind of synergies that I think it's easy to just underrate a game like Afterbirth and be like, yeah, it just sort of works. But, you know, synergies like these had to be, uh, had to be considered. And it's part of what makes this game great is that you can get these items that, you know, by themselves are good. But then when you use them in conjunction with another item, have, I wouldn't even say unexpected, but like completely expected, but also uh, really cool effects with one another. So that's, uh, you gotta have respect for... The game when the game does that it really really helps out with the longevity instead of uh, you know just minimizing those kind of interactions I hate uh, that we've got curse of the lost here or curse of the unknown not curse of the unknown it the problem is so many curses function on taking information away from you that when I say curse of the lost or curse of the unknown I'm effectively just referring to whatever curse is active at the present moment Curse of the we're missing a vital piece of information. Oh, cool it there, mister. Another bomb. Uh, actually really should take advantage of that. Thank you for murdering what was likely to be the most annoying enemy for me on that room. Boss rush is something that, like, I would love to do. I don't know if it's going to be in the cards for us because it depends what our HP looks like and whether or not we have a teleport card. Obviously, if you have a teleport card, you pretty much go all in for it. Um, especially with Chaos, you never know what you can get in there. You can get a lot of really shitty items. Blue Baby's only friend. Basically means that our damage can suck for a little while longer and not bother me very much. So, we're going to take Blue Baby's only friends. And I think that these were all dead ends. I'm actually extremely tempted to go open this up. Not sure if there's a place where we can put a bomb and actually get the stone chest active to see if we want to actually go over the spikes to get it. But, you know, obviously if it's Cricket's Head or something like that, I'd go for it. But I guess the pool in stone chest is going to be a little worse thanks to Chaos. That's another thing that's really cool about Chaos is that, you know, it makes some pools better, some pools worse. But you can still, on a worse pool, get a better item. 
And oh no, I've gone cross-eyed again. Okay, so this guy is on my ass. I can't get away. It's like a flock of seagulls song. But either way... We're gonna get through this. We did get a deal. We got more options. We already had the effect of more options on this floor. We'll take rotten meat and spend 1 HP to gain 1 HP because that just seems ridiculous. And honestly, let's go down to the next floor. We already went to the item room. We already went to... Uh, we, we're not going to be able to go to the shop, probably. We probably should have uh, tried to get an arcade active here. But I'm kind of thinking, you know... We, we don't need to worry about our money too much in the immediacy of the now. My favorite uh, Deepak Chopra book, of course. The immediacy of the now. But um, because... We might want to prioritize the hush fight, and, you know, it's easy to just keep pushing things off till the future, but... I mean, as of right now, we're not really killing it from an HP standpoint. So... Kind of hoping that the future looks a little brighter, at least in that department. And even though... Said our... Situation was not great from an HP standpoint, I chose to uh, sacrifice some of our limited amounts of HP anyway. We are a little low on uh, Tinted Rock so far on this run, and that could be me. But it could also just be, you know, bad variants. At the same time, I can't be mad because we got a Spirit Heart exactly when we needed it by shooting that fire in the boss room. Like, so low percentage relative to just finding a Tinted Rock or something like that, and yet it completely worked out for us. I'm so lucky to have not gotten hit there. Uh, that is, uh, like, there but for the grace of God go I sort of moment there. Whoo, let's continue. Blue Baby's only friend doing some lovely work. Uh, I don't really know what to ask for at the moment. Because there's so many opportunities to get good stuff. Between Chaos, Boss Rush, Recycle. The world is our oyster to some extent. Especially if we can get a lot of money. Dude, if we could actually get the dollar from Boss Rush, that would be hilarious. Because that would mean that by going into Boss Rush, we got our choice of four items, which led to us getting 99 cents, which led to us being able to buy, in theory at least, six items from the shop. Like, that's really, you're, you're trading a pen for a Lamborghini at that point. Definitely, I think you go Goathead over Butterbean, because that's an easy decision. Um, even if we don't expect Deals of the Devil to be amazing for us. And then Hanged Man is a card that exists, and that's about all I can really say about that one. Devil is more advantageous if maybe even we choose to do Boss Rush, which looks extremely unlikely at the present moment. Check out our shop. Like, here's the thing, we could maybe find our secret room, but this bomb is more valuable. It's a wooden nickel? Oh, no it's not, disregard. Being very rude to our donation machine, but for a very nice reason. I think... You start with Contract from below. And it's a tough decision because, you know, you really want that Guppy transformation. And I think Chaos does make it that much easier to get. But I think you want Contract from below in the hopes that if you get chest drops, you know, you get more money than you would if you went in the other direction here. Oh, the Emperor is a teleportation card out. So that's actually super useful. Shit, let's do it. I still think it's worth it. Even though this will, we don't have a teleport out of the, um, out of the boss fight, we have a teleport out of boss rush. Subtle difference, but one that does end up mattering. I still think that it's worth it. Let's get in here. Playing a little fast and loose with it, but for a good reason. I think. Again, we still have unlimited future shops coming for us. And you know what? Guppy's Tail might not be a bad thing to skip out on. We're going to take the Polaroid. It depends how our chests would shake out in the future. Spirit hearts, spirit hearts, spirit hearts. Wow! Actually, six troll bombs. Thanks a lot, uh, Goathead. Really appreciate this one. Inside a boss rush. Steven is okay. Mr. Boom is not good enough. Deep Pockets is okay. I guess you take Steven and you just take the hit. I was thinking about taking the box, honestly, but I don't know, man. This is actually is way less H HP than I'd like to have at the present moment. Let's put it that way. Curse of the Blind is scary as well. Wow, okay. 
definitely should not have been hit there. Let's smarten up a little bit. You have... Oh, pop that. We have no uh, bombs. So we got to just keep them paced out. We don't know what this does. Thank you for not being bad trip, at least. Would have been pretty bad. I actually think that this is the closest we've come to a loss in a long time. And as ridiculous as this may sound, I'm including the run that we lost on. That was like a car crash. Like, we died suddenly. This one is like, I'm watching my decline slowly. Uh, and I, I have to blame myself for some of it so far. I still feel like weirdly confident about it, but... I'm, I'm aware of how quickly this one can go off for us. That doesn't seem worth it. <laughs> like, we have some okay items. We also have some items that I would consider not really that okay. The run itself feels a little weak. Good news is... Take, uh... You know... Wow, that was dangerous. Take 30 cents down to the hush fight. You got yourself six spirit hearts. Might actually be a good decision for us to go to the hush fight for survival's sake, which never happens. Thank you, Rotten Baby. You made that room much easier. Two extra keys. I appreciate it. Uh, at least these enemies, despite being able to teleport, are not that mobile. At least they're not mobile quickly. I do want to go to the curse room. Guessing it's probably unlikely. Yeah, extremely unlikely. No tinted rock, so just blow this guy up. We're really playing for more HP at this point. Would not mind it. Another bomb. So that bomb could be valuable to blow up the other guy. I said blow up, okay? You sickos. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, we could... We could go down pretty low. I do see that there is a Tinted Rock here. Ooh, do we play that Demon, demon Judgment trying to get the, into a great position here? Well, okay, no we do not. Shouldn't have taken that because it ruined our uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility, but we got bigger problems right now. Oh, Mom's Key. That's good, but not something I need immediately not that I'm complaining but so I mean like at this point you're looking at this and you're saying well we got that demon judgment back there we can't get to him <laughs> but if we could do we want to play him and we got red hearts on the ground to be honest with you I'm more concerned about just living through this fight we can only get hit twice that's not a very safe place to be but we're almost done with it wow A little scary. Glitter bombs. Well, we've already fought greed, so... There's no way. By greed, by the way, I meant Krampus. We just can't. This is this is just one of those decisions where you gotta be like, no, we, we, we actually cannot. So, sorry. Life goes on, though. That could have been an amazing item. I will never know. So, Ansus, if this is the best rune we get in here, it's still pretty good. Yara's better. Ansus. Perthro. Ansus. <laughs> well, uh, we should Perthro something, right? What are we gonna Perthro? Doesn't make any sense. Just take Yara. Use Ansus, use find your secret room. Okay, we're not interested. Take Yara. Yara, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Yara? Thought about it. Decided against it. I don't want to be one hit away from death. So here's the... Okay, Curse of the Lost. At least we didn't take Ansu's anyway. Um, here's what I gotta think now. If we take bombs down to the hush fight, we can blow up the donation machine, get a lot of money, duplicate all of that money, and then buy a lot of items from the shop. And we might not even buy items, we might just want to buy a bunch of freaking spirit hearts. So... Wow, extremely lucky. Thank you, Infamy. I do think we gotta consider this room. Um, and this room, of course. I mean the arcade. Oh, I'm trapped. No 
No red hearts, huh? Okay. Well, you know what? We, we don't... We're not in hell yet. In fact, this room should be very easy. Two more bombs. I, as ridiculous as it sounds, and rest assured, I understand that it sounds ridiculous. I really feel there's a genuine case to be made that um, the correct way to proceed with this run is actually to go to the hush fight. And that's fucking stupid. That's so dumb that I actually love it. <sighs> okay, I started a joke. Started the whole world crying. You start. Blow this guy up. Blind rage. Not good enough. You blow this guy up. Wow. Addicted. You blow this guy up. You give me a red heart. Oh, you dirty dog. <laughs> oh, we're probably losing. Okay, we gotta we gotta look at the logistics of this situation now and be like, we're probably done. But just hold on for one more day. It's the Wilson Phillips song that describes my life best. Except, you know, mostly my life has been more like Motley Crue running with the devil. I live my life like there's no tomorrow. He's so fast. I'm scared of this enemy. He's just so fast, so clean. So fast and so mean, mean. Thank God he gave me some HP cause he's so fast and mean. Well. Okay, that's pretty lucky, I'd say. Oh, you gotta take counterfeit penny if we're gonna end up doing this. Oh, fuck. Where are we? I, I liked it better when I knew where I was. I mean, the HP drops are pretty big, though. Don't, don't let me discount those. Oh! Okay, we already blew up our donation machine. So that, or, uh, sorry, our, our blood bank, so that sucks, but uh, still. So one of these is a telepills, one of them is addicted, one of them is 48 hour energy, one of them is infested. <laughs> so you don't pop 48 hour energy yet. Because, I, I froze. You don't pop 48 hour energy yet because you could get, um, you know, like a book of revelations or something. How the fuck are we going to beat mom's heart? gonna be tough I'll tell you that much now I've hemorrhaged a lot of HP I shouldn't have lost here I'll, I'll be the first to admit that you know what in this situation I'll probably be like the second to admit that but I do think that we got a little bit screwed with variants we haven't really gotten many um, many hearts many spirit arts you know many tinted rock opportunities or something like that not rock operas but rock opportunities Probably shouldn't have used our last bomb there if we're going to go down to the hush fight. Are we going to go down to the hush fight? Gotta keep shooting. Because we have to create more flies. Well, we lived. The deal with the devil is still going to be there, so let's grab HP. We can't. We can't. We can't go to the hush fight. What am I going to do? Buy two spirit hearts, fight hush, and kill him? There's no chance. If we still had like five bombs, I think we could make some big things happen there. But instead, we're going to take the higher percentage play for where we're at right now. And that is um, using the Yara rune to make eight chests. Hoping those chests contain something of value. This is a scary run. It's a very scary guy. And you don't bring home to mama. Oh, what do you got? Yara the Yara? The guys! Oh, I can see clearly now. The darkness is gone. Not daddy long legs. He almost screwed me earlier. Any enemy that has a like percentage chance to not be... Or to like, hit us randomly is, is hell. What?! I was moving. I was moving. 
I can feel the, the Isaac insanity. It's starting to build. What do you do about that? You just play it cool. You get the world's most useful tarot card, the hero font. You know you want to give me the hero font. I believe, okay, that's Bob's Rotten Head. That's not the hero font. Can't help but notice I asked for the hero font and you gave me Bob's Rotten Head. Appreciate it if you didn't fuck me in the butt like that. Um, sweet, good, good uh, charm. Good charm. I appreciate that. Extremely helpful moment. Keep this guy on a diagonal. He's got no chance. Treat greeds like I treat feds. Feed him shit and treat him like mushrooms. Keep him in the dark as well. Okay. Um, you know, this room might not like be that bad. But it is. So I'm kind of like trying to get down there and... Drop a... A bomb? But I guess instead, we're just gonna try to keep these guys close and feed them shit and keep them in the dark as well. And stay on the other side of the map as long as is possible for a human being to do so. Good, good stuff. Ooh, Rib of Greed. Not useful for us. I, uh... Well, I mean, I'm in the same position on this floor that I was in on the last floor. I'm like... How the fuck are we going to kill Isaac with our existing situation? I guess the answer comes out to be exactly the same thing that the answer was on the last floor as well. And that's, you know, don't get hit until the very end and then maybe use your orbital. Please be a secret room. No secret room. It's kind of throwing a Hail Mary there, admittedly. I'm playing the long con here with Book of uh, Book of Belial. Not popping it as often as maybe I should. Retrovision. Full health. Full health. I found pills. Don't go that way. Oh, uh, you know what? Sure, go that way. Kind of wish I didn't go this way though. Our speed is presenting. A small problem here. Okay, got stuck on a rock. It's alright, didn't take damage. One's going down soon. Oh my god, there's a tinted rock on this room. Thank god we didn't use a bomb. It's all been worth it. One spirit heart. All is forgiven. It's amazing how much this run has started to slow down. Used to be, we were in a pretty great position. I was not afraid. Now, I, you know, at first I was afraid. Now I'm petrified. Thinking, how am I going to live without spirit hearts by my side? But then I spent so many rooms wondering how to spend my bombs, and I grew strong. Have I learned how to carry on? We're going we're to find out. That's really the whole, whole point of the rest of the run, is figure out if we're strong enough to survive, I guess. So, you know... Mostly I uh, threw that little extra part in there to avoid getting content ID match for my incredible version of Gloria Gaynor's classic song, I Will Survive. Classic trinkets so far. Really appreciate all the good trinkets the game's given me. Watch Magnet. Super Magnet. That's what it's called. Super Magnet. That's just probably one of the best of all time. I really like how it attracts enemies to you. I think that's a huge. it gives you a huge advantage. In the 1% of runs where you have both Nod Leaf and then some kind of damage that is right up close and personal. Oh, da, 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 da. You know we're getting close to this boss fight. Okay, Infamy. Thank you, and I'm sorry. The thank you is for blocking the damage. The I'm sorry is for not dodging the second time. I tried, I really did. Just put myself in a bad place. The, the real crux of this... Is that all we have to do is beat Isaac. And if we beat Isaac... We got Yera for the next floor. All of a sudden... Things aren't going to look as bad as they might at the present moment. And I really do mean that. Gray skies are going to clear up. Put on a happy face. 
Cause we're rolling back prices. Okay, there we go. Honestly, we're through the hard part. Ideally. Yeah, that, okay. We got just enough damage, and I do mean possibly just enough damage, um, to make it so Isaac doesn't ever do anything but shoot and then teleport. Doesn't mean we can't get hit. Does lower our odds of getting hit fairly considerably, I think. Oh, we got the speed. Barely. Okay, we are going to make it down to the chest. I really just want you to stack up some HP, but I'll take BFF too. Or like a full guppy transformation. That's, that's up to you. Dog food. I'll take it. Blue map. Not very good, but it gives us a lead on where the boss room might be. Dead dove so we can fly. I'm for it. Guardian Angel. Pretty good. Mystery Sack could save our lives. Necronomicon, the first useless item. Range up, also useless. Magic Mush, huge. Let's say we gotta give this at least a 7 out of 10. Uh, we, we actually came through pretty good here. Um, 4 HP is a lot better. Might as well use Necronomicon once. And uh, Mystery Sack admittedly could be really good. We did get the Mom Transformation. And you know what? This is as good a room as any to use Necronomicon on him. Oh, they pushed each other down here. So, obviously, big gets there. Magic Mush is huge. Uh, flight could be pretty nice, at least for maneuver maneuverability's sake. Um, not sure if we gain much, because there's not too many enemies that have creep, but... Full, two full health pills. So that is Vindication for Contract from Below instead of uh, Guppy's Tail. It's possible that both contain the, the seeds of a win. But um, two full health pills is enormous for us now, admittedly. Kind of wish I'd gone. <sighs> kind of wish I'd gone deep pockets now, so I could carry two full health pills into the boss. Uh, into the, the well, it is the boss fight, isn't it? But we didn't, so we're gonna have to make do with one. Makes us sound like kind of a little bitch. Oh, I really wish we had deep pockets. We could take two full health pills into the boss fight. Psh, get a load of this guy. Who is me? And I'm still using Blue Baby's Only Friend to deal almost all of our damage because I still feel like Blue Baby's Only Friend is my best damage dealer. If we can only choose consistent Blue Baby damage or like consistent damage from our own tiers, I still feel like Blue Baby's Only Friend is the is the ticket that that does it in for us here. But I also want those rotten baby flies whenever possible. It's nice how they target the poops instead of the boss. That makes the poops really appreciate it. It's good target selection. Keep it up. This is an exception to the rule. We will be shooting whenever possible to get these enemies taken care of. Keep in mind, we do have the virus. If I can run into enemies after getting hit, it's to my advantage. Hopefully, we don't need to worry about that too much. That probably should have hit, hit me, but uh, didn't even need Infamy's help. One steam sail. A little too late, but, you know, it's the thought that counts, I suppose, in some parts of the world. Not here, though. Where are you at, though? Okay, I'm starting to breathe easier. There was about uh, maybe 15 minutes on this run where I was like, we're actually fucked and we're going to lose. And uh, we got pretty extremely lucky to get through it. This is a big wake-up call that we should play better because, I mean, I don't think we got, like, super shitty. Or I don't think we got super stacked on this run, I guess I mean to say. But um, we also did not get totally screwed. Like, it wasn't like we had no merits on this run. We just, we sort of never got ridiculously overpowered, but we also never really shat the bed, so... It does seem like I probably played relatively badly here. So what's what's the play? Take your full health pill no matter what you're at. Oh, you know what? If we're gonna do that, though, check this out. I'm, I'm either gonna be a genius or a huge idiot. And either one is extremely valuable. Okay, so I, I pussied out of my plan. I was gonna walk into all these cheap enemies with the virus active and see if we could generate some demon hearts. Um, and that probably would have been the right call. But it was also dangerous uh, once I actually got hit by a bullet that I wasn't anticipating. Two pennies. Lovely. Uh, well, we got no bombs, but at least... You know what? I gotta give Blue Map a lot of credit. It helped me out there. Figured you go for the second secret room. And the rules of engagement applied. Let us go down. Fight the boss. Full health. 
I'm thinking you still don't fuck with it. You still don't just run in there and expect, uh, you know, ball of bandages to get the job done for you. You still play it straight here. At least for the first little bit. Wish I could actually, you know, hit the enemy reliably. We're trying to summon some flies. You know, that's the main reason that I popped Book of Belial is for the extra fly damage. And now I think we can get away with throwing in a little orbital damage. Go full health just so I don't fuck it up. And we're good. All right, easy win. He said, while well, trying to hide his tears of shame. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Ooh.